<laughs> they come on earth. Would you preach the gospel to them? Do you think they're sinners or not? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Jesus King podcast. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. I still got Abraham. We're, yeah. We're doing three videos today. Yeah, so the boys. Such a blessing to have you. And, you know, whenever I have you up here, I try to get the most out of you. So, it's, a, it's a privilege, man. It's a privilege. Uh, it's a big blessing. Um, so today we're talking about, in this topic, this video, we're talking about aliens. Aliens. Yeah. This and little green I don't know why terrestrial theory. Yeah, I don't know why, but um we're like, hey, why don't we talk about aliens? Well it's trending, man. It's mm. it's something that's huge right now all over. Um because of the the um the CIA's kind of the documents that got oh, you yeah. know, undisclosed yeah. and all that and a lot of Christians are like oh this is some pretty wild stuff mm -hmm. that they're hiding certain things and it seems like there's this huge conspiracy. So if this is the case, then what are, as Christians, what, how should we view this? Like what, what, mm -hmm. how, what's our view, our stance on aliens and otherworldly beings and that kind yeah. of thing. So I think it's a, it's an important thing to talk about in this day and age because we have to be ready for anything. Mm. Um, one of the things that can be, not dangerous, but it's not, it's not an edifying thing is when we don't give proper answers. Because I remember centuries ago, before atheism was this huge thing, that people would talk about, talk to Christians and pastors and say, oh, what do you think of atheism? Or what do you think of someone who just doesn't believe in God? And they just shrug it off. They don't really give an answer for mm -hmm. it. You know, they don't give a proper exegetical you know, here's what the Bible stance is on this, right? They just shrug it off and they don't take it seriously. I think if we want to be serious about reaching people in the world, we have to be ready for any question that they mm. they bring about and bring to our attention. So today it's on aliens because, you know, what we would view as it was just a joke like 10, 15 years ago, it's becoming a lot more serious now because people are believing it. And the the belief in UFOs, the belief in aliens, it's rising, even in Christian groups. Yeah. Which is interesting. It's true. So, well, yeah. well, when they came out with it, which was a bit surprising mm. in the beginning, like, well, when was it last year? 2023. Yeah. They yeah. said, oh, now we confirm that aliens exist. Yeah. But people didn't react the way people, other people thought. Yeah. You know, like the world just went on doing their own thing. Mm. And you feel like, well, that's a huge thing yeah. if it's true. Yeah. But then one thing I've noticed, because I'm like, okay, since we're doing Aliens, I watch a lot of, you know, documentaries about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. One thing I notice is they really start with the science. Like, oh, look at this, how this sh sh um, ship is yeah, the shaped and, and, the, yeah. and how it goes from whatever crazy kilometers an hour into stops right yeah. away or changes yeah. direction. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they give you all these scientific things. And then, cause that's like the, the advertisement. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they start it's to what, sell you the what, product at the end. Yeah. And the product at the end is like, let's communicate with them. Let's mm. kind of tap into that spiritual dimension yeah, or the yeah, higher conscious. Yeah. You're like, Wait well, a minute. Um, yeah, I, I've heard this one before. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this this one before, but it's coming, it's packaged differently. It's the alien yeah, that, um, it's, product. Yeah, that, that's, that's an important part of what I wanted, uh, what I thought we should speak on. It's because one of the um, the popular ones, his name is Stephen Greer, um, and he put the documentary, um, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, and a few others. I watched that one, yeah. yeah. And... That's one of the things he's he's talking very scientifically in the in the beginning, and he's talking about all the CIA, and he has very good evidence of what the mm. CIA is hiding and whatnot, yada yada. And then halfway through, through, he's talking about you know that communication with them, that mm. in order to communicate them, you need to actually incorporate, and he he says it outwardly, the Eastern ideals of meditation. And the Eastern ideals of communication, meditation, emptying your mind of focusing on the aliens, right? And he said, as a group, it's even more powerful. And they were 
they were filming their group meditating and then they're seeing certain lights and certain yeah. things that they're doing. So it's in, it's an incorporation of the ufology and um, and new age movement, like in one kind of group. And that's on the rise. It's huge. And a lot of people are looking at it they're like, well, they're actually experiencing things. I'm like, well, yeah, I don't doubt it. They're experiencing something, but something that is not of God. Just like in the Old Testament, it's talking to people that are, have an inclination towards witchcraft and yeah. sorcery. You will witness and experience certain Encounter things, those things yeah. that are not of God. Yeah. Well, technically speaking, aren't demons aliens? Yeah. So they are <laughs> encountering the aliens. Yeah. There's the question. So, <laughs> so that that's the 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 thing that we tend to. It's funny because anyone who believes in aliens who is not a Christian, they're like, no, they're not demons. Come on, don't be stupid, right? Yeah. They have no idea what we believe about demons. Mm -hmm. They have no idea about what we believe in fallen angels, right? So they're like, oh, no, we reject what Christians say, but we believe this. Because it, it actually propagates the atheistic worldview of evolution as well because they have the, the um, what do they call the seeded um, theory. Okay. Where they believe that um, these aliens live in a galaxy far, far, far away, and they ha are so evolved, so much further evolved than us, that when we didn't exist, right, mm. they came from their place and they seeded the world with little seeds, with with the seed of life, and then allowed us to grow and evolve ourselves, yeah. right? So we are kind of their offspring. And now they're coming back. Yeah. You get me? I don't know. That little green guy. <laughs> one so, on one. I'll take him down, man. I'm so, really going to take him down. So that kind of thing, it's it's sci-fi. It's fancy. But it can fit in with an evolutionary theory. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah. It's like, oh, they don't contradict each other. So an evolutionist and a ufologist can agree. Agree. And and you know what they're doing? They, they're obviously trying to catch the like wider groups of people yeah, yeah yeah in the sense that i've even heard a documentary where aliens are in the bible oh yeah, right? yeah. like ezekiel the wheel within a wheel they're yeah. saying it's a space <laughs> so so you you're getting a lot of things because yeah, yeah. to them if they want to make this valid they yeah. gotta connect it to a lot of historical of course, of course. Uh, figures religions backgrounds ideas yeah and they might even take something from a cave, someone yeah, that yeah. carved, you know, and we're like, oh, look, it's shaped like an alien. So yeah. aliens must have been here. Human beings were in contact. But they don't realize that, well, we draw aliens, mm -hmm. but we've never came in, into contact with them, like, say, 20 years ago. Yeah. That doesn't prove anything. Mm. It just says that human beings have imagination. Have imagination, right? right. And, and sometimes, yeah. if you're a bad drawer, let's be honest, <laughs> and it, I'm a bald guy, like, if you're going to draw me and you're a bad drawer, you might draw me like an alien, right? You're going to give me a bigger big bald, forehead. Big bald head, yeah. Yeah. They, so, sorry, guys. Yeah. No, no, nothing to it's, stand it's, on here. It's one of those things. <laughs> they, they do connect it with history because then they'll bring in certain things like Stonehenge or the pyramids and they kind of try to connect that with otherworldly forces yeah. that are more intelligent, stronger, more evolved, and they came and kind of helped with those things. Uh -huh. you know? How so, complicated it is to put rocks on top of each other. Big rocks, yeah. <laughs> so so the, the, there's that ideal. And then you're like, okay, well, let's refute that. And then they come to the now day and age where we have people who are, seem very genuine. They're like, we, expect, we saw with our own eyes this ship. We saw the beings in them. And there's nothing that you can say that can disprove that because it's their experience mm. and whatnot. And you have multiple people saying it. So then as Christians, what do we say about that? Yeah. Because there are more and more and more people who are like, we experienced it. We don't want to really talk about it, but we've experienced it. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes up to you and is like, look, man, I'm not lying here. I genuinely saw this thing and they abducted me. They took me. They did this, that, that, that. What do you say? To me? Yeah. yeah, Because yeah. I, I really don't believe in aliens. Mm. So you, you can have you can have a spiritual encounter. Mm. Um, you can also have manipulation from the government because um, watching those documentaries, mm. um, someone actually testified um, 
in the sense of um, trying to manipulate people into believing aliens. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of uh, false stories, right? Um, so th they would just hover, you know, mm -hmm. a, a plane or something, put put a shape under, put some lights in the dark, mm -hmm. and that shadows, kind of, and yeah, yeah, and that kind of gets people to be like, oh yeah, th this must be aliens. Mm -hmm. So you do have people from the government saying that we this did fabricate we did. a lot of stories, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but you would have other people who you would say they do have general encounters. I don't see them to be aliens, but I do believe they are spiritual encounters. Mm. Um, to me, as we spoke about, because we're, we're, it's a very light conversation we're having, right? Mm. We're not going too deep into this. But one of the things that you look at the Bible is God created man from the ground. Mm. We're not aliens. We didn't come as some bacteria on earth and we evolved into mm. something else. No, we started here. Intentionally. Yeah, yeah. but... With demons, if you look at the devil, Jesus says, I saw him go down like lightning from heaven. Mm -hmm. So they are foreigners, okay? Mm -hmm. And they can come, as we even talked about it, me and Emil, because we did a on demons, video yeah. on demons. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about that. They can come and show themselves into many different forms. And if aliens is the hot topic, guess what? They can use that to their advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, as Christians, I, I don't believe there is aliens, not to say that the Bible 100% disproves it, but I don't believe there is aliens. Mm. I do believe that this is a manipulation. This is um, a time where if there is not enough distractions, guess what? We'll add one more yeah. as to why you don't need to focus on God. That's the, that's the word that I wanted to really emphasize mm. today, that word distraction. Because there are a lot of Christians who are now starting to get very, they're starting to get obsessed mm -hmm. with the topic. And pretty much their whole entire life right now is revolving around this pursuit of aliens. Yeah. That's detracting. It's it's taking away from your pursuit of God, right? And the spiritual things and, and the things of God, right? And the fact that you have a mission here for the kingdom, mm -hmm. right? That's not going to edify you. Yeah. It's not going to edify you to be like, oh, let me try to pursue the otherworldly figures that are out in the cosmos or in the... Because look, the reality is if God wanted to create other beings in on the other side of the universe, he's more than free to do that. Mm -hmm. That's his right. So there could be the possibility that there are other life forms in the universe. But that's a God's choice. That's God's right. It has really nothing to do with us and God and his plan for us. Yeah. And the way we are to relate to the people in this world, right? And so we have a mission and we're supposed to be very dedicated to that. This I see as a red herring. It's something that we're, we're on the path and it takes us off the path, mm -hmm. you know? We have an answer for it. The answer is, well, if you're seeing things, all right, what are you involved in? And there, this is one of the things um, there was... Chuck Missler, and there was, um, oh, I forgot his name. Uh, they went really deep into the research of it. Okay. Um, and what they did was they researched every person. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember his name. He, they researched every person that was abducted mm -hmm. by aliens, so-called. Yeah. Abducted. And they noted that the majority of them were into witchcraft. And they had new age um, okay. inclinations, okay. right? And it's the same thing with this group with Stephen Greer. They have a, a new age approach that is causing them to communicate with these aliens because Stephen Greer was like, oh, I was once in meditation and I was taken onto a spiritual plane, onto a planet, communicating with an alien. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Right? Yeah. So what does that sound like? Right, it's something spiritual, and you think what the you think that the devil is not able to, in the spirit, fabricate and manipulate these facts and these things. Of course, he's he's you know he says he's the ruler of the airways of this world, right? So there's this battle going on, and so one of the things, if you're into witchcraft and sorcery or new age stuff, new age principles is just witchcraft refabricated, right? Mm -hmm. That will give you an inclination because it detracts. It distracts you from Christ. It distracts you from coming closer to the Almighty, 
because you have the two masters one big m one small m of the world right mm. you have the god of this world who is distracting you from the actual legitimate god and, and the bible speaks about it in the old testament where god commands his people saying don't interact with these mediums these which mm. which is where you know try and consult them yeah get an idea from them and something like that happened to saul yeah right he came to a medium and he tried to consult, could you bring up Samuel uh, before me? I don't believe it's Samuel. I believe it's a familiar spirit. That's mm. my personal perspective. Um, someone disguised to be Samuel. Uh, that's another topic. But you, you see this idea that, um, you, you know, these people are not interested in the church, even though no, they would no, try no, no. and connect the aliens to, to religious. To Ezekiel or, yeah, yeah to, to religious stuff. Yeah, to ancient religion. What they do, they're not going to come t and tell you, hey, go go be a Christian because Christ rules over the no, whole universe. No, no. So those aliens would not do anything, really, right? What authority do they have over us? Yeah. It's we live under Christ. They're not going to say that. They're it's, going to come to you and be like, um, put that aside for now because yeah, that's yeah. a bit old. You're not right? open-minded. Yeah. And come open up your mind to these things. But it's funny because in the documentaries, this is a very interesting thing because he, they're very antagonistic towards Christianity, but not to other religions, right? Because of like course. to Buddhism and Hinduism, they're like, oh, yeah, no, definitely within the paradigm because you're using their methods of meditation to, to yeah. reach them, to communicate with them. So they have no problem with any other religion. But they have a problem with Christianity and our idea of who God is. That's a big red flag. It's a big red big flag, red right? Flag. And if you're yeah. a Christian and you're pursuing these things, and if you're inclined, if you're tempted to start drawing into those things, remember, man, this is something that distracts. It takes away. It doesn't glorify the Lord. It's not going to help you in your pursuit of, you know, calling out Jesus is Lord. Yeah. You know? it, and, and you have some people would go as far as saying that Jesus could have been an alien. Because he was doing yeah, all these yeah. miracles at the time. Yeah. And those miracles seem to be miracles because of the technology, right? But Jesus could have healed people. Because, mm. you know, that same guy that you were mentioning, he shares a miracle. Yeah. Where there was a person who was wearing glasses and then the, um, the alien touched him. And he didn't need his glasses the next mm. day. And he said that if we open up our minds to these aliens, then they can come not only teach us yeah. to, to help us open up our mind, but also to heal us. Signs and wonders, man. See, this yeah. is the thing. This is where why we talk to a lot of Christians. Signs and wonders on their own, it's not enough because... There were signs and wonders all throughout. We even yeah. have in the in the New Testament, there were people that used to exercise demons, take cast demons out, you know. Yeah. Uh, for example, they used to, you know, remove demons from people, yeah. so to speak, or the illusion of it. Um, there were signs and there were wonders, right? But on its own, that can distract you from the Almighty because Satan and his kingdom, they do have power, right? Yeah. They're not. They're not obsolete. They're not completely disempowered the lord allows them to to rule to a certain extent in the world because that does that war that wages it does refine the believer as well because we're in this spiritual war and in our trust of god we overpower we overcome right but so this is one of the things that we have as christians we have to understand and come to the knowledge of the the satan has power mm -hmm. he has strategies he has the ability to manipulate and to deceive, yeah. and even if possible, to deceive the elect. Mm. You know. Well, just to entertain the thought, because we obviously don't believe in aliens. We think it's more like it's 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 a demonic. It's a spiritual plane. Yeah. I would say spiritual. Yeah. Let's just say, for the sake of it, <coughs> that aliens do exist. Mm -hmm. They come on Earth. Would you preach the gospel to them? Do you think they're sinners or not? <laughs> Actually, it's funny because. Um, I was watching a YouTube video, I think it was like last week, and the guy's speaking about, oh, if I saw an alien, if we saw aliens, because he actually believes, he's a preacher who believes there are aliens. Okay. Right, so yeah. red flag there, but anyway, he doesn't believe they're just demons, right? Okay. And he's like, well, if we do see aliens, we should preach the gospel to them. And I'm like, well, hold up, hold up, let's just stop there. Mm-hmm. 
Um, the work of Jesus, scripturally speaking, the work of Jesus on the cross and the gospel message is very clearly just for humans, right? Yeah. It's not for every creature on earth either. It's not like, you know, remember Francis of Assisi who ended up, you know, he was going and baptizing animals and whatnot yeah. because he wanted to save animals as well. It doesn't relate. It doesn't Didn't relate. he also have some experiences which they tie to aliens? I think he was the one where he uh, had some uh, thunderous experiences and he had some burning marks oh, on his yeah, body. Yeah, they, they said there was the sigmatal. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and they said, he thought it was God. But they but say aliens, yeah. Because you obviously you gotta change everything. Yeah. And yeah. and doesn't that isn't that what the devil wants? Is he wants to replace God. Yeah, of course. He wants to course. take away God and be like, put me in his place. Or just be like, oh, what the ancients thought was God because of their lack of understanding yeah. of science, um, because of their lack of education, what they thought was God. And it's okay that they thought back then, but now we know now we know it's yeah. aliens. Now we know it's this. Because we are more evolved, no. See, right? We know. We know now because we evolve and we're growing <laughs> knowledge, right? Yeah. So, so it's, back to the question. Yeah. So yeah. so this whole idea, right? Let's say that aliens are real. The gospel is not for them. Yeah. The gospel is something very clearly for human beings mm. who are under Adam, who are the offspring of Adam. Yeah. That does remind me that the gospel is for us and not for demons. So That's exactly right. Also fit. Well, that was one of the questions someone asked. Well, why can't Satan be saved? Why can't the demons be saved if they repent? Is that that it's not for them? They're not, not for them. Yeah, you know. I like how in the beginning of Hebrews it speaks about that Jesus was given a body, and in this body he calls his fellow human beings as brothers and sisters, and he's saying, "You have given me these brothers and sisters," mm. and he dies for them. So the reason why Jesus came in the flesh is to save people who yeah. are in the flesh. To save the sons of yeah. Adam. That's that's the, yeah. the clear thing. He has to be and, a descendant of Adam. And another thing is like we're assuming that if there is the de- um, aliens, that they are sinners. Exactly. Sin, they could be perfect beings. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Sin came through Adam yeah. for us. That's probably why they're going through space because they're perfect. They're just like <laughs> so evolved. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Um, but if if someone asks me, can I see demons in the Bible? I'll be like, it's like seeing a unicorn in Proverbs yeah. 31. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no unicorn in Proverbs 31. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, so, well, like even the images that the Apostle John is getting in the book of Revelation, they associate with aliens and they associate yeah. with a spirit, like a different planet or he was taken in spirit to a different planet. The, you have to really enforce the idea mm-hmm. on it because it's very clear, like the book of Revelation is, is connected with the book of Isaiah and their visions and what they're seeing, right? Yeah. It's very clear that this is something of a spiritual plane. It's not something otherworldly on a different planet. Right, so we have to be very clear that theologically speaking, scripturally speaking, the Bible is what the Bible is. That's it. We, yeah. we don't enforce twenty first century ideology even about aliens on it. I this, think, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. sorry. Just to say, like, even if every planet is occupied by something, let's just say we're not alone, right? Every every planet is occupied by something. That should not distract you from who God no, is, no, the no, Creator no. of all no. things. So it's, it's something very important. Yeah, someone would watch literally a few second video. It's not that clear. Like, man, my iPhone, my phone is much clearer than that. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's aliens, yeah, it's a shadow. It, yeah, it's it's not working that well. This is yeah, that. every single time. Every yeah. time. Every time. Like, <laughs> who, like, what are you using? So what kind like of phone? Old are you Nokia. Using? Old Nokia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last question I'll ask you. Yeah. If aliens come in your backyard, they go down. What's your first reaction? The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. That that's my first thing <laughs> because I would know it's a spirit. I know I, I I would be dead set. And if after I say the Lord rebuke you, they're like, "Hey, dude, chill, man, relax." Yeah. Not even Satan. It, it's funny because that's our thumbnail for the demons uh, podcast. Yeah. So the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Um, yeah. It's 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 an interesting thing because. Um, when you dive into a lot of what a lot of Christians and scholars and theologians kind of say about their idea of aliens and UFOs and whatnot, some of them have some pretty wild ideas. Mm. Um, some of them connected to the Genesis 6 thing where they talk about the sons of Adam 
um, the uh, sons, of, sons of God, sons of God, and the daughters of Adam, yeah. the daughters of men. Sorry, that the sons of God were the fallen angels that come in and they they have relations with the daughters of men mm -hmm. and they create this offspring. Yeah, and this offspring are the Nephilim, or they they are this mm -hmm. you know um, superior race, and that they are taken away to another planet and now are coming back. So wait, yeah, God brought a flood. To destroy them. Yeah, he, they, none they, of them got destroyed. They were taken away. Yeah. Oh, because then they're like, oh, then we see the Nephilim again or the Anakim in Deuteronomy or in, you know, when they're going into the promised land, they see the giants or whatnot. So they're like, oh, it's like this resurfacing, this revisiting of the Nephilim. That's what the aliens are. So there's different ideas that a lot yeah. of Christian people have based on their theology and how they view the yeah. scriptures. But either way, it really can become a distraction to the ultimate goal we have as believers to glorify the Lord and bring salvation to those who are lost. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's our goal here. Otherwise, the moment we're saved, God could just take us. Yeah. When you look at the Bible, when you see like, you know, those uh, poetic, um, you know, uh, verses, passages, where it says like, you know, I looked up to you, God, and stuff like that. Mm. Now people are no longer looking up to God, they're yeah, looking they're up and they're like, "Where are you, aliens? Yeah, like where's the extra line?" It's not like Abram looking up to the stars, counting it, and looking at the promises of God. It's like looking up and be like, "Which one of those is moving?" You yeah, know? <laughs> which one of them is showing light, and who's gonna yeah. abduct me? Um, okay, yeah. cool. It yeah. was a fun conversation, it a, yeah, and a, guys, it, it was pretty light-hearted. So we, you know, we we said a lot of jokes, but none of it is like a bit too serious, but. The idea, obviously, the main idea is that we do not hold to the, you know, what they are selling today as mm -hmm. there is aliens. We we feel like it's a distraction. Yeah. And it, it it is rooted spiritually in the sense of let's communicate with them. They can heal us. They can give us a better way of life. Yeah. And yeah. let's put religion and God aside because they actually maybe even created it. They brought Christianity into mm, it, mm. Um, as he says. The Nephilims, as other say, other people say, Jesus was an alien. Uh, he wasn't performing miracles. They thought it was miracles, but he yeah. was obviously, you know, he had the technology to do it, or so on. And the danger, the one more thing, the danger of it is the the way they're repackaging it now and they're selling it is that they're the saviors of the world. They're coming to stop us from our own destruction. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a, that's, true. that's something that I look at. I'm like, whoa, that's that's the role of Jesus when he comes back now, yeah. right? His role coming back is to restore everything completely, mm -hmm. new heaven, new earth, right? Um, and if that's now attributed to the aliens, mm -hmm. they're now stealing the position, the role of Christ. Yeah. And it will damage the way you're viewing Christ as well. So that's why we're saying be careful here. Like, be careful the conspiracies you're listening to and you're hearing. Some things might have some validation, but this one, really. Yeah. I think we need to cool. cancel that a bit. I think maybe you can yeah. ask yourself that question, meditate on it. Meditate it, on it, that, not on communicating with aliens. No, yeah, <laughs> definitely not that. But the question that you can think about, if... We're going to have aliens coming and visiting and we're going to normalize our relationship with them. Why wouldn't the book of Revelation speak about it? Yeah. That's yeah. one thing you need to ask yourself about. If, if um, it was Unless Revelation. you want to obviously twist the words and put aliens into the book of Revelation, that's a different story. But if you're honest with the text, there's uh, God, there's angels, there's demons, and there's human beings. Mm -hmm. And we know angels are, you know, doing the will of God, we know who God is, and we know who humans are, where do demons, uh, uh, yeah, where, aliens, where fit? Do aliens fit in here? Yeah. yeah, maybe they are the demons. So just disguise as something else to distract the world. Uh, but we just want to encourage you, focus on Christ. Yeah. You, focus. Can't, you can't go wrong when you're focusing on Christ, focusing on his word, f dwelling in the spirit of God, living in the spirit. You can't go wrong there because... If any of these other things do come, and let's say they are true, the Spirit of God will bear witness in us to be able to, you know, take make the right decisions and the choices in that sense. Mm -hmm. So just focus on the Lord, focus on His kingdom, and kind of put everything off on, on a back burner, on the, on the back shelf there. Cool. Yeah. Um, God bless you, man. It was good seeing you. 
we're gonna have do it again Anthony soon yeah. two weeks time yeah. so we can get more of you um god bless you take care of yourself and so yeah bye